Ladies and gentlemen, this is Frogman. Welcome back to Ixion. Last episode, we did a little bit of wandering around. We got Outer Hope figured out. We did what was on Uranus, and we also took care of what was on Neptune, as well as doing quite a bit of mining. And now we have been told to go to Jupiter to investigate a new Dolus, Dolus facility that apparently built the Protagoras and apparently built a better modified version of a new Vol engine. So let's check out this quest and see what's going on. We'll let it do the investigation while we kind of talk of some of the other things. I have been kind of, again, doing a little bit of just letting things run and scanning and, and just shooting little probes everywhere we can go. Next step's probably going to be once we finish this little section, there is a bunch of stuff somewhere over here and a bunch of stuff down here. Again, we're scraping this solar system as clean as we can so i'm kind of just slowly trying to figure out where to locate stuff at we're going to probably try to do a bounce over to saturn and then maybe somewhere over around in here to try to collect the rest of this as the story goes um, but for right now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go back inside and take care of a couple of little things so now that we're making science at a reasonable pace and i guess we'll go like about there now that we're making science at a reasonable pace we can start to do a couple of the other technology things in here we're not not able to do any of the upgrades as far as more tech lab stuff but what we can do is we can kind of start to improve some of the stuff in these central rings one of the first things that i think i want to do and i know it's kind of a i should probably be going over here and maybe researching better food or better something is that i want to go over to crew quarters and i want to up uh, research the optimized quarter an optimized quarter just by itself it's twice the size it's it's a it's it's pretty pretty well basically like this it's this it takes the same space up as two of these regular houses these little crew quarters but it holds 40 people versus what this will hold which is 30. so in the same amount of space we'll be able to hold 10 more people which will help us to kind of do a little bit more with the uh the area that we're kind of starting to have a problem with which is these don't hold enough of the <laughs> the way things go. Now, there is a quicker, easier way of being able to possibly get a little bit more. I should say quicker, quicker. It's not quicker. Um, there is another way of being able to get more ways of being able to hold people, and that is to unlock the additional beds, which will increase the capacity of your housing by 30%. However, you have to do this research of organization of care first. So it takes 60 research to get, well, that extra amount of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that one on. We're gonna go out here and we're gonna go see, whoop, I keep doing the wrong thing. We're gonna go see what we got as far as this goes. All right, we have reached the automated construction site, which despite its age is in still good working condition. Although Dolo's technology here is recognizable, it is much more advanced from, than what we have aboard the Tycoon. In the control room for the site, we came across a mausoleum dedicated to Liara Fraus. The resident PA identified as us as Dolos personnel and granted access to data records. These confirmed that the Festus site was used to construct and house an advanced prototype of the Vol engine, codenamed Ixion. An engine of this type is currently moored to an EK EKP structure with a harness link. Our engineers say one of our mining ships could tow this. Attaching the Ixion engine to the Tycoon will restore our Vol jump capabilities. All right, we're gonna get 200 people for that. Um, sure. Why don't you just go? Why don't why don't you, you you're you're standing by? Yeah, you go do it. All right. So he's gonna go over there, and they're gonna take four cycles to do a little bit of work, and we now have a pile of stuff. Uh, I think the first thing we're gonna start doing is, given the amount of time and whatnot it's going to be, we've got five hundred. We found the 500 cryopods that we need. I do want to shut this off right now so that we stop opening people up. But I think we're going to, we, we well, we have a problem now. We have, how many? Whoop, yep, not that. Um, how many did it give us? I don't know why I'm looking at it that way. Let's look at it this way. We have 167 people in cryopods that we're going to bring with us. I want to go ahead and build up, just for the time's sake being, a storage facility right here uh, that is going to hold those. 
and then we're going to move it's because that's what happens in the tycoon um we're going to move a bunch of these cryopods from here over to here just so that we have plenty of storage space for them and hopefully well hopefully we can come up with some more stuff uh you go over here again we're going to do a little bit of this so sector one i just want to keep like 50 on hand and sector two max that out please and that should start being to haul those out of here and those out of there. These people will be okay with having 180-ish uh, people in cryopods, which will be just perfectly fine, and we can crack those open as we see fit. Um, we're actually possibly capable, maybe thinking once we get a little bit more food production, of possibly opening another sector. I don't think we're going to be doing that while we stay in this solar system, but I know very soon we need to probably start thinking about doing that. Team has completed a task. All right, excellent. What do we got? Uh, the extraction procedure was success. Hephaestus's PA helped us a lot in the operation, and she may try to contact the tycoon directly. We may follow self-similar pattern. 45 research, beautiful. Um, stop and let's get that going that is going to get us a very very valuable thing and it's something that you need to try to accomplish before you leave this this system just we need to get this thing done that is also going to probably give us most of the research that we need to be able to produce a little more food an accident has occurred in the tycoon yep probably all right optimized quarter beautiful uh how bad was it you're out of stuff. You guys can get off. All right. Now, here comes the fun part about what this thing can do. I'm fixing to make a bunch of people really mad in this sector, but we're going to go ahead and delete that house and that house. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to turn this off. We're going to need more storage. You hold alloy, please. Can we at least get both of those broken down? That'd be great. All right, optimized quarter. They're bigger, but they fit in the exact same space. Go. We're gonna do a bunch of this. I'm basically gonna start in between every one of these sectors now. We're gonna start right up here for that matter and go goodbye. And we're gonna replace every single one of them. One of the things I do not care for about this game is the fact that you cannot upgrade things in place. Because of the fact that that house is smaller than the other house, you're, you're the other the bigger one basically you're putting one house in the space of two houses and it's going to get you know kind of annoying because we have to tear down every single one of them but that is the whole point of why i want to make sure that i have as much stuff as i possibly can because i want to make sure that we delete every single one of those houses and we build as many of these optimized quarters in here as we can before we leave this solar system so let's see what we have out here. You prepare Ixion for Tycoon connection. We'll let that go to do a little work. And actually, do we have some things we can be scanning? Because we're probably going to want some more alloy. Where was that one patch? I've seen it a couple of times. Silicon. Somewhere right around. There it is. There it is. Bang. How are we on houses? There's the first one built. Again, tear it down. And you guys are already up. Go ahead, do it. Yeah, you have to be careful with these. They use a little bit more power. Well, I guess they don't use any more power than the same space that goes, but you get 10, again, 10 more people per per space so it's definitely worth the time to go through and rip every one of them out and start over i screwed up because i took the road out give me my road back a science ship team has completed a task all right what do we got a probe has completed its scan working together the crew of the tycoon and the team of the contact have prepared the ixion for its connection final attachment protocols may be initiated via the eva airlock there she is uh sure let's just get some more parts oh we have a 
thing coming in. We have received a transmission from the Hephaestus PA, Olympia. I wonder what she has to say. Tycoon, Ixion is now in orbit and ready for installation. You are not designed to calculate your own vol coordinates. Ixion will only permit you to use previously generated coordinates or to follow the vol signatures of others that have crossed self-similar space. Well, that's not good. To make your existence worthwhile, you will need to find the coordinates of the exoplanet that Protagoras is looking for. Rimas. Vanya was right about the echoes of the future. I bestow upon you this miracle, and with it, release myself so that I may embrace the sleep that was stolen from me. That's an interesting thing to say. Um, some of these things that we're going to be talking to, these PAs, um, they're supposed to be an AI, but it's quite possible that what they were is a scan of a human brain or a human process turned into it like that. Um, it's an interesting thought as to what they could be. I don't know exactly what they are, but I do know that they're a little spooky. All right, so we need to tear down some more of these houses. My main goal right now is to take a bunch of this alloy that we have been producing this whole time and just utterly gutting all of the housing and getting it up to where we have a whole bunch of people because this makes a whole heck of a lot more sense to upgrade than the other um, size does. Now, can I get the third one in right there next to where that road needs to go? No. If I do this, I can. So we'll still have room enough for one of those when we get in here. Excellent. I don't mind the fact that they have to kind of fly around and do a little bit of other stuff in order to make things happen. We just need to make sure we have as much storage capacity as we can for people. What are we doing out here? You're done, correct? All right, so we got a bunch of alloy, a bunch of uh, circuits, and a bunch of stuff, and our team has salvaged a number of the things, blah, 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 blah. We got to go in. Let's go. Now, she should be done, I think, for now. You can go back to the tycoon. And we're going to take a really quick scan around here and see if there's anything other than ice and the hydrogen because probably pretty soon we're going to be headed for Saturn. Come on, wiggle it just right. Get over there. Nope. Nuts. Whatever. It is kind of crazy. The moon, you can see it blown up like that. Anyhow, where are we? We're going to do a bunch of this. I'm going to spend a little bit of time just replacing all of these and using up all of the materials that we have set up. And then we're going to be moving. Well, we have a thing to do and some other stuff to happen. And I think I need to pick up a bunch more people. Did we get everybody out? Yes, we salvaged everybody that should be available, at least unless we find something else. Um, so we'll do a little bit more messing around and I will... Uh, I guess I'll see you guys back once I get all these houses ripped out and started over. Alrighty, that looks a little bit more organized. I can't wait to get this thing out of here. It's going to live in one of these other sectors eventually just so we can get some of these things. Or I, I may I may change some of where some of this stuff goes. And of course, it's the tycoon. It's always going to have an accident. Anyhow, we now have a lot of storage space for people in Sector 1. The issue is now we have 50 more capable slots, I should say capable slots, than we actually have available to feed with our mess halls. So we have to be kind of careful about that. Um, that's fine. That's okay. We'll be able to kind of move things around. And if we need to, we can just build another mess hall. One will fit right here. However, I have plans for that slot. We now have 84 research and science, though, which is something that I've kind of been working on fairly slowly. I wanted to make sure we had the ability to do a couple of things. I want to immediately go ahead and increase our production of food. 
and I want to look at I forget which one it is it's gonna be this one maybe we do a little bit more storage or maybe we do a little bit more of the fun stuff that could be a DLS center DLS is another way of being able to get a little bit more things uh, we're gonna let that complete because that will get us what is it I think an extra 10% on all of our, uh, our insect farms and for right now that's what we're going to use I'm not too concerned about moving forward with anything else um, we're just going to kind of carefully move along. Uh, did we manage to get any silicon? We haven't found any silicon. We need to go ahead and connect the Ixion engine because I want to go ahead and get that sorted out. And then we're going to move towards Saturn, I believe, to get some of that other stuff done. Uh, we're Again, we're going to scrape every bit of this solar system before we leave. So go ahead and, well, let's make the new engine. Tear the old one down and install the new one. A new request awaits your attention. Yeah, probably they want us to go somewhere else, don't they? Ten bucks. Ten bucks says that. Administrator, we are ready to follow the traces of the Protagoras through self-similar space using the frequencies recovered from Outer Hope's black box. All right. Vol systems have been adapted for the new You're gonna... Ixian class engine. I need it. it... The Typhoon yep. is now fully equipped to pursue our main objective. Ensure humanity's survival by finding the habitable exoplanet named Remus. Alrighty. Well, that's going to be fun. Let's go do this. Click on this. What did we get? Uh, the Nahi protocols are online. Stanford checks have been passed. Blah, blah, blah. We all know it's ready. It's in. Um... The vol jump coordinates can only be generated by a comp computational machinery utilizing Frau's tachyons or a particle found in self-similar space. These calculations are some of the most valuable and best kept secret of Dolos. Administrator, we have the jump coordinates to reach the last known location of the Protagoras. Why that had to come out of an insect farm, I have no clue, but that's where that came from. Um, one thing that I will say is you need to kind of read some of the little silliness as we go through some of these. Um, every one of these little upgrades has a little comment has occurred in the tycoon because that's what happens in the tycoon um that will have some kind of a neat little thing to say like on that one it's just you know some of the fun stuff and it, as you kind of wander through some of these other dudes you get some really interesting little things my next main objective is i want to start making sure the we have the ability to maintain and keep people happy and sane in our sectors and the first thing i want to do with that is i want to go ahead and open up a dls center or a data learning center it's kind of a um it's an interesting little thing. We'll let that roll. It's going to take a little while. That's what this little spot right here is for. It should actually fit reasonably well. And now that we have a reasonable amount of storage space, I know that's terrible for humans, we can actually kind of knock some of these houses out that we put in, or we can do a couple of things, and be able to put in some of the necessary stuff if we need to to keep people happy. Uh, one thing that is kind of nice is that once you put a bunch of people into everybody living in optimized quarter, you get a plus two for that. Whereas before it was everybody mostly living in a regular crew quarter whatever it is you get a plus two from that um it's it's kind of important and it's one of the reasons why i move forward with that before we even bother to look at anything else so that both of our sectors are now happy at least plus two per cycle and we continue to do that um as we go this is going to get funner and funner and funner and more interesting to try to keep things contained and well working correctly and I think we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't remember. Can I build a road right here? Yes, I can. I may do that just for the giggles of it, or I may not. It's not really necessary. I know. It's okay. Everybody's always going to be hurt. It's terrible. All right. Uh, with that being said, now what I want to do, now that we have that hooked up again, I want to move her over here so that we can start hauling some of this stuff out. Um, there's a bunch more stuff right here. Um, it, it's kind of one of those, it's just a personal preference. I want to make sure I bring as much usable parts, pieces to the point that I'm contemplating bringing a little ice with us. Um, later on down the road, ice is, you, you make water from ice, obviously, and that's how you make your farming thingy work. It's kind of a, if, if you dig in through some of the other fun stuff that we get, you'll see it. DLS, let me have a DLS in here, and let me have a DLS in here. 
We should now actually be making a reasonable amount of food that we can probably go ahead and just turn that cryonic center back on. Interesting that that one got done before that one. But anyhow, all right, this is an interesting part that we need to step on a little bit or step on, talk on a little bit. Policies. This is when we get to start telling people what we want them to do or what we don't want them to do as far as just regular policies. And you do that through a DLS. You can change the way things work. You can change the way people have a, a thought for you. And you gear, do that by implementing a policy in your DLS. So this one, this is where I started talking about the monuments. We now know what kind of a sector this is. It's obviously a food tier sector. It's a food production sector because that's mostly what we do in here. However, if we got enough more, you know, a few more houses in, actually, I probably have a couple of things right there I need to rip out and start over because I didn't get those done either. But if we get enough housing in one, zo one zone like this, we can also have a population sector along with a food or an industrial sector or a space sector. What we can do in here is we can start implementing policies that will grant us good or bad things based on what we want to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on propaganda because that's going to give me a stability plus two every cycle. Now, basically, that's just we're just going to tell them that Dolos is the best thing in the whole wide world. And we're going to do it in both of them. So now we've recovered quite a bit. We're now up to plus for a cycle in both of these. It's one of the quickest, easiest ways to go. One thing about a DLS is once you have it opened up, you can you have to kind of wait for the next policy cycle to come through. But every couple, well, every cycle, once the cycle is complete, you can come back in and put another policy in place. Right now, that's all we're gonna do. We don't need to worry about food. We could even give them a, you know, if we were really overproducing on food, like if we're really, 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 really being crazy, we can give them a little bit more food. Um, if we have way, way, way too many people, um, we can put it on supported and they'll have a little bit more, you know, if we've got way too many workers, which I kind of, it's going to be kind of hard to get to that point, but you can do a little bit of stuff or you can be really nasty. You can say, if somebody does die, we're not going to dispose of their body. We're going to recycle it and turn it into usable things. One of the first things I tend to want to do, especially in a sector where we're doing the cryopod openings is I definitely want to put in place the stability well the workers first so that we're only opening workers well until we run out of workers because you don't end up with a mess that looks like this those 150 people that aren't doing a thing to our cause but eat our food and live in our houses anyhow we shall build this house back uh right there i don't need to but we're going to um and probably the next best thing that I want to look at as far as some of the other upgrades while we're sitting here playing around is uh, I would suggest likely to do this one, which is take it up for an extra five beds. Extra five beds is not enough to take care of a problem. It just means it holds 20. Um, we're not worried so much about that. This will allow you to accommodate 20% more people per meal. This will allow us to store 10% more resources. This will allow me to automatically repair buildings, which is kind of a waste once you get past a certain point. Um, then you can just kind of play around, like spaceship construction is increased. Uh, construction is increased on the outside for quickly, or tell them what they need to tell. Um, just a lot of different individual things that can go on through to get you better stuff. Crop farms, for that matter, we could get into crop farms. We could do something in here where we're going to do a policy cooldown is reduced by five cycles. Right now, I'm not too terribly concerned about that. Um, probably what I should be doing is working on this so that when the waste cycle does come up, we can start playing with this technology. So I think we'll go ahead and start working on a waste treatment center it can transform 50 waste into 50 alloy or 20 polymer or one electronics every cycle it is how you end up being self-sufficient self-sufficient in the tycoon i doubt very seriously we will get it unlocked this episode but it is the way you move forward without having to mine and scrape one of these things because of the policy that we can implement right here where uh, everything that is normally being thrown away, uh, 
like everything in one of these factories, like that waste right there, and this waste right here, and that waste right there, and that waste right there, and uh, as we dig around and play around a little bit in here, uh, that protocol right there, if we uh, research that, it will produce waste for us from every single house. Um, it gets pretty, pretty big. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. What are we short here? What are you not happy about? Oh, right. Uh, I need to turn you back on because we needed you to move things around. Go back to work, please. All right, let's make a move for Jupiter, I think. We'll hit the button. We'll hit the... No, no, no. I didn't want that button. I want this button. We want this, and then we want off, off. We'll just shut a few of these off. We have lots and lots of food. We've got plenty of food. Do not shut your uh, EVA, th these things off, uh, <laughs> because your hull will degrade as you run down the road. So I'm gonna just shut most of those off. Uh, that one will be off, that one's off, that one's off, that one's off, that one's off. And we can shut the, well, I don't wanna shut the DLS off for right now. Do we have enough for three? No. Can we get to three? Can we get to three? I guess we're going to shut you off. Man, they're all busy. All right, three and click, click, click. Three, good enough. Later on, once we get a little bit more battery technology, we'll be able to do some fun stuff. We can uh, upgrade those right now just by doing a little bit of, well, research on them. But I want to go over to Saturn. Oh, that's four cycles. Um, no. Uh, how about, can I go to Mars? Three point no. Can I go to Mercury? I just need to get over here somehow. So let's go ahead and do that. One of the other upgrades we can do is we can upgrade her engines to go faster than she currently does. Goodbye, Jupiter. Hello, emails. See you guys when we get to Saturn. It's going to be a couple of hops. Alrighty. I went ahead and threw in a couple of extra things down here just because we had a little bit of space. We're going to start processing some of this other stuff we've got hanging out. And we are now currently in orbit around Mars. And I was going to say we were going to go clear over to Saturn, but I think I'm more interested in maybe staying right here because there's going to be a bunch of stuff hopefully really close let's make sure we didn't make anybody mad i did move a few people around before we left because we were getting a little close to being too close on this one sector here and again as always you just got to kind of keep your eyeballs open and make sure you have plenty of workers because i don't want to blow up any more buildings i don't want to kill anybody else I think with given the amount of time that we're at, what we're going to do is I am going to continue to mine and find and scrape and whatever you want to say the words are that, you know, it, we're, we're just, we're not leaving this area until we find a reasonable amount of stuff. And by mean reasonable, I mean, I'm going to fill all of these up right here full of the alloys. We'll have at least four or five full of alloy before we leave. Uh, I'm going to try to chew through as much of the carbon and the uh, the polymer as we can. We're going to try to find as much as we can. The probe has completed its scan. And I don't know why I'm actually running that one. You can go ahead and fill that one up first because essentially I just want to fill one up and then stop and then fill one up, which I actually kind of screwed these up. I shouldn't have done this either. We needed to fill the one up over here first. Uh, turn you back on. No. We'll go ahead and, and just kind of clean everything up, work through as much as we can, and I guess hang out around Mars for right now, um, which is the way things are going to be. Next episode, we're going to make a jump to the next zone, and I hope to at least have enough accumulated stuff to be kind of playing around with. Uh, I think we'll probably bring a couple of hundred ice, and if I end up with enough stuff after the trash or the recycling center has been put together, this thing, we are currently researching that. If we have enough science while I'm sitting here waiting, since, you know, it's going to be literally me just letting the game run, I will likely go ahead and upgrade the stockpiles so that we can get 10% more of the storage in them. And then we're going to kind of work towards doing some more stuff. 
Once we move to the next, uh, once we move to another system, we're likely going to have a whole bunch of more science to collect. And, well, we shouldn't be that far out of it. Why don't you turn that back on since you have plenty of food? Hopefully, 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 hopefully we're feeding everybody enough at this point. We currently have 500, well, 637 people living on the station. And we, we're okay. We're, we're 42 on this one and 23 on that one. So, yeah, we might be a little short, but I think we're doing fine for the moment. Anyhow, until then, I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Still my favorite song. Bye. An accident has occurred in the tycoon.